Life Positive, February 2023. Man is at a crucial juncture. Jitendra Sharma pays homage to Sri Aurobindo by sharing his, and the mother's, vision of an evolving consciousness in man, and how it can provide an answer to the present global turmoil that we are facing. This year, the world is commemorating the 150th birth anniversary of Sri Aurobindo. He is known as a great yogi, philosopher, poet, literary critic, and revolutionary. Background Born as Aurobindo goes in Kolkata on August 15, 1872, he went to England for his studies. He appeared for the Indian Civil Services examination in Cambridge but absented himself in the last part of the horse riding test. After coming to India, he joined the service of the Maharaja of Baroda. Soon, he joined national politics. His articles in Banda Mataram, Karma Yogin, and other revolutionary journals enthused the youth everywhere. In May 1908, he was arrested in the Alipur conspiracy case. In prison, he had many spiritual experiences. He was acquitted on May 6, 1909. On April 4, 1910, he went to Pondicherry and stayed there for four decades. Current crisis. At present, the entire world is in a state of turmoil. Global warming, wars, the Ukraine crisis, diseases, and fear have infiltrated man's psyche. In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic gripped humans in all parts of the world. The coronavirus continues to take lives everywhere. Man is desperately searching for solutions to these unforeseen problems. The present world crisis concerns the entire humanity the world over. But we all know that the night is darkest before dawn. A new world is about to be born. Change of consciousness. According to the integral vision of Sri O. Robindo, the divine consciousness has descended to the lowest levels of matter to release the dormant spirit in the core of matter. There is a lot of resistance from below, resulting in a lot of dirt, wickedness, and illness. All these are the signs of the resistance that is coming up violently. The more the pressure of the divine force from above increases, the more the wild resistance from the inconscient below increases. This reaction and process are quite natural because the lowest planes of existence have to be transformed completely by the divine consciousness. At present, there is a lot of disorder and chaos on all levels of man's heart, mind, and body. It is because we have a deep-rooted reluctance in us to open ourselves to the divine light. The only solution is to offer ourselves in all sincerity to the divine. We should not open ourselves to harmful beings and dark forces which ever seek to use us as their mediums. The mother says, the future of the earth depends on a change of consciousness. The only hope for the future is in a change of man's consciousness, and the change is bound to come. But it is left to men to decide if they will call labrick for this change or if it will have to be enforced upon them by the power of crashing circumstances. When the supermental force, 16 life positive, February 2023, will become effective on earth, men will act as docile instruments of the divine will. Sri O. Robindo expresses his future vision in Savitri thus, Escape, however high, redeems not life, life that is left behind on a fallen earth. Escape cannot uplift the abandoned race or bring to it victory in the reign of God. A greater power must come, a larger light. Although light grows on earth and night recedes, Yet till the evil is slain in its own home, and light invades the world's inconscient base and perished has the adversary force, he still must labor on, his work half done. Now begins the expedition to stop thoughts. We want no mind. Freedom from thoughts. Now we become serious seekers. We meditate, chant, heal, regress, affirm, undergo therapies, and do all kinds of practices to become a better version of ourself and we do. But we do not experience silence because we are always in a state of becoming. And becoming is never-ending. Because the person that wants to become is kept alive by the desire to become. These people remain seekers for life, not realizing that they are life. Internal Yoga, Sri Aurobindo's mystic profundities are illuminating. He does not believe in any dichotomy between the material world and the spirit. In the words of Sri Aurobindo, we speak of the evolution of life in matter, the evolution of mind in life, 
But evolution is a word which merely states the phenomenon without explaining it. Yoga means a change of consciousness, a mere mental activity will not bring a change of consciousness, it can only bring a change of mind. According to the Ve, Danic view also, the spirit is already involved in the matter. In the tenth mandala of the Rig Veda II, we have the concept of evolution and involution. Only what is involved, can evolve. Sri Aurobindo's integral yoga aims at the total transformation of man. The sadhana of this yoga, says Sri Aurobindo, does not proceed through any set mental teaching or prescribed forms of meditation, mantras, or others, but by aspiration, by a self-concentration inwards or upwards, by self-opening to an influence, to the divine power above us and its workings, to the divine presence in the heart, and by the rejection of all that is foreign to these things. It is only by faith, aspiration, and surrender that this self-opening can come. In the future stage of evolution, man will exceed the mind and attain supermind, through which the whole world will be transformed. The supermental force will help man to become more and more conscious and to con care death. Sri Aurobindo's epic poem Savitri prophesies thus, A blind god is not destiny's architect, the supermind shall claim the world for light and thrill with love of God the enamored heart. Nature shall live to manifest secret God. Emergence of the superman. The superman will naturally have God, light, freedom, bliss, and immortality. Through his own spiritual practice, Sri Aurobindo has made it possible for mankind to transcend mental consciousness for the process of complete transformation. Sri Aurobindo says, the animal is a living laboratory in which nature has, it is said, worked out man. Man himself may well be a thinking and living lab, oratory in whom and with whose conscious cooperation she wills to work out the superman, the god. Again, he assures, evolution is not finished, reason is not the last word nor the reasoning animal the supreme figure of nature. As man emerged out of the animal, so out of man, the superman emerges. Man is a transitional being with an inherent impulse to evolve towards divine consciousness. Sri Aurobindo explored prodigiously through his body's cellular consciousness the secrets of evolution which the asphyxiating earth needs badly at present. Only a spiritual consciousness can help man to transcend the present terrestrial crisis and move towards an era of love, peace, harmony, and universal bond, homi. Dr. Jitendra Sharma is a professor of French in Calicut. He is an ex-student of the Ashram School and has a PhD in Sri Aurobindo's poetry. He is the author of the book, Concept of Man in Sri Aurobindo's Poetry. We welcome your comments and suggestions on this article. Mail us at editor at life